Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am getting ready for the day and I realized I haven't filmed a true get ready with me in a while. I'm not filming anywhere special. I'm just at my desk where I normally do my makeup and we're just gonna do a normal get ready with me. I like these because you get to see the products that I really do use on a daily basis. With that said, I'm pretty sure you've seen just about everything I'm gonna use today. They have been favorites for a while and I think that's really nice when people have their tried and true products that they just always revert back to, love and trust and continue to repurchase. So I just wanna make this kind of informal chat about some things going on and actually get some feedback from you guys on a few things that I'm trying to do. Beauty wise, if you have any suggestions, I'm gonna want them. I already have a hunch that this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but grab a cup of coffee. It is currently Saturday morning for me. So I have what's left of my coffee here and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the reason I have a towel on my head is because I just got out of the shower, but my hair is actually dry. Today was not a wash day. I do wanna put it out of my face though. Lily's here, my parents' dog, so if you hear little like scattering, I already feel like I'm all over the place. Let me just get started. I don't wanna have to introduce and show and explain every single product I'm using unless there's reason to. I will list everything below. These ones I do wanna talk about because I did make a video about the Pixi Vitamin C line and I was using it for all of the like dark spots on my face and honestly, I have been loving this stuff. So there were a ton of products in the line but the ones that I continue to use on the daily are the Vitamin C Juice Cleanser, which is almost out, and then the Vitamin C Tonic which is a toner. There is a serum which I use when I remember at night. I alternate between the vitamin C lotion every day and the Skin Fix Correct Plus every day. So all of these products are meant to brighten your skin, even out your tone, reduce dark spots, and that's what I'm really trying to do is just even out my skin. So anyway, oh, I also love this because it has this little pump. It's so easy to use. I really do think my skin has gotten so much better since the summer. My forehead is practically 100% repaired. I do still have a sunspot here. My like melasma mustache is pretty gone. I don't know, skin is one of those things that I'm really, really trying to just be better about, especially as I get older. And I feel like I've always taken pretty good care of my skin, but now I wanna step up my game. I just, I don't know, the last couple years I was really all about cosmetic treatments and not that I'm opposed to them anymore, but when you just take care of the skin the hair, the nails, the body that you have, that really does reflect in the way that you look and the way that you feel. So I did get Botox last summer in 2018. Honestly, at the beginning, it was amazing. But looking back, I kind of wish I didn't do it. I feel like my skin has not been the same since. I only got it in my, I believe the rubellum, just in my forehead for my 11 line. So she kind of did like a heart. There's a whole video about the experience on my channel, which I kind of wanted to leave. But I wanted to try it. I don't regret trying it at all. It looked great great for the time being, but once it faded, I really just don't feel like my face was the same. I feel like it almost looked worse, and I don't feel like it all disappeared. I think there's still remnants in my forehead. It's just a very, very bizarre feeling. I'm not a huge Botox fan. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna revisit any kind of Botox in the near or distant future, but I am glad I tried it, and now I'm really trying to take good care of my skin. In addition to taking care of my skin, I really want to take care of my hair and my nails. Now, obviously, I am a mani free. I'm always keeping up with my nails and manicures. The past few years, I've probably done a little more gel than I should have, and then try and dip a couple times. It really does take a beating on your nails, and while they're fine, they're just very weak. So I've actually given up gel for the time being just to kind of grow out my nail 100%. They're about 50% grown out right now. You can tell as the new ridges come in. I've just been clipping them super super, super short. So every time they grow, I clip them back down to nothing. I clip them back down to nothing. It's kind of like dead hair. You just want to get rid of all of it so that fresh growth can come in. I've been trying some new products, some new strengthening treatments. So far, pretty good. But if you have any products that you want to recommend for nail growth, I know a lot of you guys are here because you love nails as much as me. Just let me know in the comments below. The Nail Aid Biotin Ultimate Strength. I use this as a base coat, sometimes a top coat. Just got this in the mail this week. This is the CND Rescuer. I think it's Rescuer X. Rescuer X, not Rescuer. Rescue RX. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced different ways, but the reviews on that CND product are absolutely insane. And I posted about it yesterday and I got a ton of feedback from people saying how much they loved it and how much it really, really does work. I just started using that. It's only been like two days, but between the two, I'm curious to see how my nails will grow out and rehab. I really do want strong, natural nails. If you are subscribed, 
to my channel, you know that I recently tried a set of press-on nails. I've heard so many rave reviews about them and they actually were impressive in terms of how well they stuck. I just really don't care for fake nails. Whether they're press-on, whether they're glue-on, whether they're acrylic, whether they're tips, gel forms, anything. I just don't like the feeling of fake nails and I really never have. I love the look of them. Absolutely love the look of them. They're just honestly perfection. It's really hard to get your actual nails to look that good. I just like a short to medium length natural nail, almond or square shape that's just healthy and strong and you can polish them yourself. I'm trying to get my nails back to a good condition so that I can maintain them and keep them that way. So if you have any product recommendations, let me know. I have gotten a couple on previous videos, but always open to more. So what else is going on? Okay, a little more beauty talk before other talk. I have also, like I mentioned briefly earlier, that I am trying to grow out my hair. My hair has never been super long ever. I just naturally have very fine hair and I don't have a lot of it. So when it grows out, it doesn't look that great. But lately I've just been so fascinated by healthy hair and people who are able to grow long, healthy, shiny hair. So I recently dyed my hair back to its original color, which is my favorite shade to be. I just have been getting a bunch of grays in recent years. I have grays that grow in around my hairline and having dark hair just really does nothing for me. But I came to the realization that my roots are going to grow in dark, and gray no matter what I do. If I highlight it, if I low light it, it really doesn't matter. That area is still going to come in the way it's going to come in. I'm like, you know what? I might as well just go back to the darker color and enjoy it. So that is what I've done and I'm really happy with the color. The top half of my hair is so shiny and healthy but I want the rest of my hair to look that way. So I have been researching like crazy. The products that I should be using, brushes I should be using, the way I should be treating and styling my hair and I've made a ton of changes in the past three weeks but I know there's so many more changes that probably need to be made. So I'm trying to reduce any kind of heat styling, but it's hard for me. My hair just does not dry nice naturally. It really doesn't. So with that said, I'm trying to just reduce the amount of washes and then just style it once nicely per week, maybe touch up a little here or there. I can't go full blown. It's just never going to happen for me. I started using my blow dryer on the cool setting. I'll use the heat on low, maybe just for a little bit like underneath the back of my head where it's really hard to dry but the rest of my hair dries pretty well. With my last color she did cut it but I still have so many split ends. The bottom of my hair is so damaged. It's frustrating and I've been watching all these videos about these girls and how they take care of their hair and so many people dust their own ends so they'll trim any split ends they see. That's become my new favorite pastime which is not good. I literally had to pry the scissors out of my own hands yesterday because I was just snip happy. I had so many split ends. I'm so tempted to cut them off so that they won't continue to break and completely ruin the strand of hair but at the same time <sighs> I think I just need to step away and just be kinder to my hair and see what happens. I've been trying to wash it less. I think I've really only been washing it maybe two times a week. I could probably go three to four days without doing my hair. I've been investing in more headbands, been utilizing dry shampoo more. There's so many things you should and shouldn't be doing. I got boar bristle brushes. I'm trying not to tease it. I'm not using extensions. I've really just been taking better care of it. My water intake can definitely be better. I have not been drinking as much water as I normally do. I'm not sure why. I used to drink so much more water, but we did just get a water cooler in our house, which is funny. I'm hoping that might help me drink a little more water throughout the day, and I do need to adjust my diet. I know that is a thing. I do take some supplements, but if you have any that you recommend specifically for hair and nail growth, I say it all the time, but as women, we spend so much of our time trying to freaking look good. It is exhausting. It's just beyond exhausting. There is so much maintenance, especially like if you have to maintain. Not everyone has to get their hair done. Not everyone has to to take extra good care of their skin. You know, some people just have great hair. Some people have really good skin and they just need to do the bare minimum to get by. Also, working on my internal happiness. I'm so happy lately. Like, there's really, life is so, so good and I just want to embrace it. I want to embrace each day, each season as it comes and not stress myself out about it. I want to just make life easy and fun and I feel like it has been. I'm just so used to going above and beyond for like everything and it's just hit me that you really don't have to. It just takes up so much time, cost so much money, and you can just do things without driving yourself crazy. Like we had a Halloween party. My girlfriend let me borrow all the decorations from her Halloween party last year, so I literally didn't have to buy any decorations. My mom was so sweet and helped make some food. And then I was like, let me just make a pulled chicken in the crock pot. Like everything was super, super easy. I made one of my favorite desserts, that's about it. And it was fine. I didn't feel stressed out. I felt really prepared. I don't know, you don't have to go above and beyond. You don't have to get so intense when you really don't have the time to 
do so. You don't. And it took me a long time to realize that. Excuse my eyebrows, but I'm all for living in the moment. My eyebrows have been microbladed, but I haven't plucked them or trimmed them in a while, so that's why they look kind of like sparse and crooked. This right here, I think, was like trimmed too low. This one just like is crooked. Sometimes I just take my elf pencil and fill it in a little. Anyway, back to enjoying the moment and not stressing yourself out about things that don't need to be stressed over. I really want to practice that as we move into the holidays because this time of year, it is it's honestly the best time of year. There's so much going on. It is so fun and festive and I absolutely adore the holiday season, but it can take a toll on you mentally, emotionally, financially. So my goal is to figure out thoughtful, meaningful gifts for everyone, preferably by the end of November. That's always my goal to get my shopping done by then. And then just spend more time with friends and family. I've been using these two mascaras for probably like a few months now and I think they're both on their way out. This one is definitely almost dried out, but I love the brush. So I layer these and love the look, but I am in need of a new mascara. And shout out to Caroline. She DM'd me the other day. She's a fan of the Maybelline Total Temptation mascara, which is one of my all-time faves. But she messaged me saying she tried a new one that she thinks might be better. I think it was a pink bottle. I'll link it here. I think I'm gonna pick up that to try, but let me know if there's any others that you have just been loving lately. I think that's about it for my face. When I do a full face of makeup, this is normally what I do. When I don't do a full face of makeup, I'll skip eyes altogether or I'll just do a liner and mascara or I'll just do a mascara. But this look has been working for me and let me do a lip real quick. I'm gonna do a different lip. So I actually did this lip for Halloween. It was supposed to be a joke and I ended up really loving it. It's this really dark NYX liner, dark for me at least. It's one of their suede matte lip liners. This is in Brooklyn Thorn. And I paired it with one of my favorite Rimmel London lipsticks. This one is in Rosetto. Um, I was an inmate, so I thought it would be like, I don't know, really dark lip liner in a lighter middle just looks inmate-y. I ended up really loving it. A couple of people had messaged me asking what lip combo I wore in that Impress Press On Manicure video and this is actually it. So. I really do love it paired together. So let's do the hair real quick. I washed and dried my hair yesterday. I honestly don't think it needs any dry shampoo, but it probably could use a little bit of styling. Or no, should I just rock these like waves today? Today I just have to run to the post office and do a couple errands. I'm gonna go to the library to edit a couple videos, so I'm not really gonna see anyone. Tomorrow my mom is hosting a little event at our house. Some of my cousins on her side are coming over, so we're gonna do a little pizza party. I think I'll wait to style my hair then. I'll suck it up today and just like rock this. I got this more bristle brush. I use it to brush my hair now and it just, it makes your hair so soft. Kind of hard to brush but i've been using this brush also got one of the wet brushes i just got a mini because i really don't have that much hair and i actually prefer mini brushes because they take up less space do you see how healthy my hair looks up top i mean maybe that's just me but it feels so healthy up here i honestly didn't even realize how much i missed being dark let's go pick out an outfit we're doing a whole get ready with me here we're gonna literally go get ready now <laughs> so my closet is just full of sweaters all right, quick outfit of the day shot. Nothing crazy because I'm not really doing anything exciting today. This is the coziest little sweater. It's from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I don't know. My mom got it for me last year for Christmas because I love hearts. Anything with a heart or a bow, I am a sucker for. These are just like the comfiest Gap jeans and then these Dr. Scholl's slip-on sneakers, which are honestly one of the best sneakers I've ever owned. I cannot wear sneakers because the back of my heels are always getting ripped up, but these are super comfortable and not irritating whatsoever. Oh, and my Pandora ring. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I got this and a few other beautiful pieces from Pandora at the new Sono collection. I'm doing a little collab with them and I literally have been wearing this every single day. It's honestly my new favorite everyday piece. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me video. I'm gonna run to the post office, drop Lily off at my parents, head to the library to get some work done, and we'll see where the rest of this day takes us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna link everything that I mentioned and used below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.